Ted Kaczynski, isn't that a serial killer? You're so dumb. No, I don't know what the f Ted Kaczynski, did, did he host TED Talks? Did he create TED Talks? I don't know who this guy That's is. That's enough out of you. That's enough. You know, I'd like to go home. Is that possible? Can I? I I'm gonna send your ass home. I can say whatever the hell I want on camera. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. Right, contestant number five. I fucking right. hate this. She didn't say we were having sex. If she said we were having sex while doing it, I would have picked her. We're not having sex ever. You're never having sex with anyone. You've never had sex. It's never gonna happen for you. Just give up. I can pop your cherry. I can oh, peg you. That's crazy, because I've gotten I've gotten offers from girls with fatter asses than yours. Oh my god, you f obese chicks. Wow, it's so exciting. Are you from the Bronx? You ain't got no ass. Hi there. You look like you're having a wonderful day or you're about to have a great day. Well, I'm here to bury all of that with this extremely cringe video that I found. There will be no happiness for you today, only cringe and embarrassing faces. This video will probably be a long one, so make sure you have your foods ready, make sure the snacks are ready, make that tea, put your chair back, lay down and relax. You're in for a long amount of cringe. I was randomly scrolling through Twitter until I came across a very short clip of this Discord mod versus this... Uh, a tall pink lady. They were roasting the shit out of each other and it looked like a dating show. It looked like one of those uh, 20v1 type of shows. It got me curious. I searched it up and I found this. Blind dating five girls by Halloween costume. Well, after watching 80% of this video, this whole title is extremely wrong. This is a virgin guy who's, who's he here only for one purpose and one purpose only. To get laid, to lose his V card, to pop the cherry. But hey, who am I to judge? It's 2024. That's how they date nowadays, anyways. Hi, nice to meet you. Shakalaka boom boom. What was your name? Take care. Bye next. And who is going to be the guy who's gonna pick out these four extremely horny girls and one very angry woman? Well, let me introduce you to him. My name's Josiah. I'm a virgin, and I'm looking for a baddie to lose my virginity to. All right, and what's your type? A girl that attends church every Sunday and works at the coffee shop and is a virgin as well. You don't know him yet, but you will very soon in this video. This guy is the joker of the show. Wait, sorry, let me rephrase it. He is the joke of the show. He was being sarcastic with the religious girl in a coffee shop because he thinks he is funny. This is the type of guy whose grandmother laughed at him once and told him that any girl would be so lucky to be with you and he took it by heart and he thinks that's what everyone else thinks as well it's time to get this show started bring in the ladies Woo! our contestant number one miss little pink heels how old are you and where are you from i'm 30 and i'm from california god that's what i'm saying bro damn you old girl you old as hell you you might be able to be my mother if you are a virgin and you would like to one day or as soon as possible lose your virginity, pop that cherry. If you say that to a woman that you are old, you're old enough to be my mother, you will stay virgin. Your, your cherry will never pop. I could show you a thing or two if you're so young. If you're looking for a mommy. Yeah, I'm 17. <laughs> Contestant number five. Hi. Miss Stiletto Heels, you got the fishnets on. Ooh. Judging by your toenails, I would say you're probably also above 30 years old. I'm 29 and I'm from New York. <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number five is going to be his worst enemy on this show. For some reason, the rest of the four throughout the whole video that I watched, they want to lick his ass. I don't know if they paid them to be like this and paid the fifth one to be so rude to him. We don't know. These women volunteered out of their good hearts and got a probably a good chunk of money to come in this show. They probably got a good chunk of money for it, but the fifth one was probably like, it's not worth it. Fuck this guy. Oh, what part of New York? You sound from your damn Bronx? Where you, you, you don't look like you were raised in the Bronx, but... How would you know what I look like? You can't even see me. I can see, I can see your toes. They ain't Bronx toes. Contestant number five. Are you more of a trick or a treat? You sound gay, bro. <laughs> You sound so f***ing gay. Are you more of a trick or a treat? I just want to take you to New York in the Bronx and dick you down. You the way you do. You want to talk to me like that? Are we are we doing this right now? Well, oh, I'm going to be threatened because your voice got higher pitched. <laughs> hey, we're getting cooked. We're getting cooked. Abort, abort. Oh, we are, oh, we're getting cooked, bro. You don't get, you don't abort getting cooked. You do not let a New York 
Oh, I almost oh. dropped the beat. I deadlift double my weight. That's 50 pounds, bro. <laughs> I'm actually like 255, so I'm basically pulling a fucking quarter ton. He just sounds like he's the kind of guy who orders oat milk at the coffee shop. <gasps> I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> That's messed up, man. I knew, I knew you were gonna say something gay like that. Ugh. You think I can just control if I'm lactose intolerant? Shit yourself like a real man. He is absolutely getting cooked and his comebacks are just pure ass. And if you pay attention every time that he says a roast back or he tries saying something funny, he looks at the camera and he looks at the crew and seeing their reactions, if, are they gonna laugh or not? Was that joke funny? Was that funny, guys? Was that funny? This is the type of guy who beats his dragon seven times a day, and when he comes in real life, he's just terrified of women. This is also the type of guy who, where he tries to hit on a girl, and the girl's like, oh, sorry, I have a boyfriend. Thank you, though. Thank you for... I'm flattered. And he's gonna go all be like, you whore? You fucking bitch! You, need, you know what you need? You need to go to war. That's what you need. You need to man up and go to war. Can you say the word coffee for me? No. Say the word coffee. <laughs> no, just say the word coffee. You're not being an obedient little darling. Oh, why would? I, oh my God! I can't. You're so small. We can say. Daddy something. doesn't like that. You're not a daddy. <laughs> you ain't even seen me yet, Shadi. I really hope you've been taking notes all along. You have your notebooks out. It's not too late to take it out yet. Put it on your list. Never tell a girl, "Daddy, no likey." <laughs> I'm actually out of word. For some reason, he keeps having like a black accent. Shadi, you. You with the fat ass, you know who I am? Six foot, dark skin, light skin type of guy. I will blow your back and you're gonna be walking in a chill wheelchair tomorrow. Shoddy, daddy likey. It's very fucking embarrassing watching this and he's probably definitely in the comment check sections in this video trying to look for validation and be like, haha, that guy's really, that guy's actually funny, but everyone in the comments are fucking just roasting him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can y'all? Hey, we're having a conversation over here. Okay. We, we can hear you. Don't act like you can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what, what are we deciding, Josiah? I'm going to eliminate contestant number one. Oh. oh. Yeah. Can we go down? So, do you feel like you fumbled? Honestly? <laughs> You're not really my type. I gotta, you know, I don't- You're allowed to have a type? <laughs> and the funny thing is, no matter how hard he's trying to be funny, their girls are much funnier than this guy. After that, Rose, he definitely went home and cried. He tried to play it cool, be like, oh, you're not my type anyways, thinking, oh, he saw like an alpha guy on the internet who said- This one takes a little bit more confidence, but you can walk up to the girl, I do this all the time myself, and say, hey, you're almost as cute as me. What's your name? And I'll hold out my hand, I'll smile, um, and let her know that, you know, I'm a, I'm a cool, normal guy that isn't like weird. He saw that and he tried to play hard to get, but he didn't know that he is not him. The, he He's just not him. He's got milk in him? You wanna find out? Mm -hmm. I might. And I also want to point out that these girls that they brought on this show, they are straight out of a strip club here to please a man. This is not a dating show. This is, um, what was that Love Island thing where they just come into an island just to have sex? None of these girls are going to be with a guy like this. If he was funny, no, actually, if, even if it was funny, those looks, he can never, he can never bag a girl like that. I'm going to skip through all the bullshit. If you guys want to watch the whole video, I'll put the link, link down below. But this is where things got spicy. This is where the real drama started. This is where the embarrassment started. And the guy tried to recover so bad from it, but he just ended up embarrassing himself even more. The car and you have the ox, what are you playing? Uh, we're listening to Ted Kaczynski's audiobook. That's what we're doing. Ted Kaczynski, isn't that a serial killer? You're so dumb. It's that guy sounds like a serial killer. Do you not know who Ted Kaczynski is? No, I don't know what the f Ted Kaczynski, did, did he host TED Talks? Did he create TED Talks? I don't know who this guy That's is. That's enough out of you. That's enough. You know, I'd like to go home. Is that possible? Can I? I I'm gonna send your ass home. You Respectfully. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I just want to clarify. I want to clarify. Did she say an audiobook? Yeah, she said an audiobook. And a dude's name that sounds like a Oh! You literally can't say that on camera. Ah! Dork. Dork. I can say whatever the hell I want on camera. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Contestant number five. I fucking uh, hate this. I want it. I want her out of here. <laughs> relax, relax. I just have a question. We wouldn't. We are not compatible. I kind of 
feel one. You're not compatible with anyone. I like to add something to, to this as well. He is definitely not compatible with anyone. The only th thing he is compatible with is his left and right hand. He keeps insulting the woman that he's about to date, apparently, and go on dates and pro eventually get into a relationship together i don't know why he's insulting them and i don't know what he's expecting he's expecting everyone to be oh my god w w's in the chat that was so cool fuck that bitch he thinks we're on his side she didn't say we were having sex if she said we were having sex while doing it i would have picked her we're not having sex ever you're never having sex with anyone you've never had sex it's never gonna happen for you just give up i can pop your cherry I can oh. peg you. That's crazy because I've gotten I've gotten offers from girls with fatter asses than yours. Oh my god, you f***ing obese chicks! Wow, it's so exciting. You from the Bronx, you ain't got no ass. Hey, someone get a security guard in here after this. Who are we eliminating? Contestant five, get out of here! You are you are irking me. Oh my god. Wow, you are so pasty. You're wearing fish sandals. Right there, right there, right there. You're gonna show up looking like a. F Gamer who's never talked to a woman in her life. Yeah, I've played games. Yeah, I'm in the top 10% of every single video game I've played. I climbed to the top ladders. And you know what they have? Gamer hands. Which is why you're unsatisfied and you're above 30 years old and you're hard stuck in life. The two girls are absolutely dying at the back, just laughing at his face on how he's getting roasted. And he keeps on saying like, oh, you have no ass. You are going to die alone. You are 29 years old and you are old. 29 is not old. That is the best time because they know who they are. They they have matured enough and they know who what they want in life. And the fact that he keeps on saying you have no ass, what does he have? He has nothing. No body, no game, no humor. Nothing funny comes out of his mouth. No six packs. Nothing. There's only two ways for him to get laid and actually pull girls. First, become extremely rich and successful, probably in gaming or, you know, streaming, which is very unlikely for streaming because he's extremely unlikable. Second thing is paying for sex with his mom's credit card. You're going to live your whole life alone. What are you well, talking I'm about, bro? You look like you've never even grown facial hair in your life. I shave. I shave every day. You shave for the act of I pretending. Serve, because I serve this country and I got habits yeah, and you're not in my habits. Raza, why did you waste my time with this? Honestly, I just, I really needed him to lose his virginity, so. It's never gonna happen. I'm sorry to tell you. Hey bro, you got cooked. You got cooked, uh, respectfully. There's no way you let her get last word with that. Tell her right now while she's walking out. You got no ass. That's it. I know, you got enough ass for both yeah. of us. Don't worry. He had one chance to recover his dignity, his whole reputation. He had one more line to, you know, win this whole argument. What did he say? Same thing he always said. You have no ass. And what was her response? You have an ass for both of us. <laughs> Damn right I do. Damn right I do. He's got, he's got enough ass for both of us. I got more ass than that for sure. I swear to God, I don't think I've ever met or seen anyone this unlikable in my life and what this shows it just shows how insecure he is about his looks his body his the way he talks the way anything comes out of his mouth and it's just pathetic i think he needs to spend less time playing video games all day and showering once a week watching porn every single day five times a day talking to skype through his uh, screen uh, monitor and maybe focus on not being so much of a discord mod actually go out to socialize learn about life i hope it's People usually, they grow out of this, but in his case, I don't think he is going to. This is a message strictly for Pokemon and any girl streamers and YouTubers out there. If one day he becomes an editor, do not hire him. He is going to touch himself to thousands of hours of footages, just like Pokemon's editor. And here's where it all ends, and he doesn't go with the Black Witch. He goes with this uh, Pop Cherry nurse person, kitchen ma master. I don't know. Hey, we just slide into those DMs. Though. Do you want it? What do you want? It? What do you want? It? You want a kiss? <laughs> My new boyfriend. What did you think of this whole experience? I think we're gonna go on a date tonight. We're gonna go on a date and lose our virginities in the Tesla. Do you think you'll actually go on a first date? No. Why would I do that? Luckily, he won't have any grandkids to watch this embarrassment. He's probably just gonna, you know, be his dragon to 
streamers to OF girls until the day he dies while having like a lot of junk food around him. I know I'm being harsh about this, but it, it's it's very a very unlikable person. Just watching this whole video just made me angry for some reason. You better get his shit together before it's too late. Wish the best for him. I just thought this was extremely cringe and I wanted to ruin your night with it as well. <laughs> but yeah, that was about it. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next one.